श्री उत्तम कुमार रेड्डी जी इसीलिए 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 ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन सर जी ओके चल रहे आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द डिमांड्स फॉर ग्रांट्स ऑफ द रेलवे मिनिस्ट्री थ्रू यू आई वुड लाइक टू अपील टू द रेलवे मिनिस्टर दैट एज अश्योर टू द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना इन द आंध्र प्रदेश रिओर्गनाइजेशन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन एट ईयर्स बैक दैट अ रेलवे कोच फैक्ट्री वुड बी सेटअप इन काजीपेट सर ओ दिस एट ईयर्स many times i have raised it in the parliament and i have met the prime minister i have met the then railway minister and uh, there is a constitutional sanctity to the assurance of a railway coach factory in the state of telangana in kazipet so the reply i got from the railway ministry was that in view of your present manufacturing capacity it is not viable to set up a new coach manufacturing capacity in, uh, in kazipet sir through you i'd like to appeal to the railway minister the assurance was based on creating or for creating additional employment in the hinterland of telangana now your government has announced the finance minister uh, announced that 400 new generation vande bharat uh, trains would be run sir it would be very appropriate if you could think of setting up a manufacturing capacity manufacturing factory of vande bharat trains as per the earlier assurance of the government of india sir even if the government of india does not want to uh, do the total investment even if you would go on a ppp mode there would be several investors ready to invest in this kind of a manufacturing uh, factory i would once again appeal to you that as per the provisions of the 2014 andhra pradesh reorganization act by which the state of telangana was created a railway coach factory or equivalent should be set up in kazipet at the earliest time sir also in the same act there was an assurance that the road and rail connectivity between the cities of hyderabad and vijayawada would be improved sir i have several times represented to your railway ministry that a bullet train from hyderabad to vijayawada would probably be more financially feasible and viable than the one between ahmedabad and and bombay sir all that is required for that a bullet train or a high speed train from hyderabad to vijayawada there is a very short distance that a new line has to be laid from chittyal in telangana to jagaipet in andhra and then the traveling time by a high speed train from hyderabad to vijayawada would be reduced to about 2 hours sir if you get the you know viability or feasibility done you would find that this route is more feasible than many routes in the in india for running a a bullet train or a high speed train and i uh, request you uh, you know you have taken over recently as railway minister to get a feasibility done for a hyderabad vijayawada bullet train or a shatabdi train on a shorter new route sir i would like to you know bring a couple of things in my constituency to you there is an existing railway line from motumarri to melacheru to janpad to vishnupuram where only goods traffic is run now i have you know uh, made a representation many times to the railway ministry to run passenger traffic also on this route so the reply i have got is that the commissioner of railway safety has not given approval for running passenger services on this route so on closer examination i find that your ministry the concerned officials had not even sent it to the commissioner of railway safety all that it requires uh, i i request the honorable minister to kindly note this on this route motumarri to melacheru to mattampalli to janpa to vishnupuram where good trains are running now it is easily i come from the constituency i come from that area it is easily possible to run passenger trains please get it examined the reply given that the commissioner of railway safety has not approved it doesn't appear to be right you just need to build a, uh, build a few railway platforms and uh, in this very remote rural area passenger trains can be run sir i also wish to bring to your notice that a new line from dornakal to nelakondapalli to kodad to huzurnagar and to miryalaguda via neradcherla the alignment has been approved and accepted by your ministry there is this is a highly viable route because the entire cement manufacturing belt of the country and a significant rice milling industry is based in this area so i appeal to you this is a highly commercially viable area 
that this new line from Dornakal to Nelakondapalli to Kodad to Huzur Nagar to Nered Cherla to Miryalaguda be kindly taken up at the earliest. So I wish to bring to your notice, a uh, year or year and a half back, your railway ministry officials had given a presentation to members of parliament in the uh, Lok Sabha, one of the committee rooms. They said, I'll finish in one minute, sir. They said, the railways have a priority. One is a quadrilateral route, which runs along the borders of the country. That is probably from Delhi to Bombay to Madras and from there to Calcutta and back. And you also have a diagonal route running through the country. Now, sir, I'd like to bring to your notice, Hyderabad is one of the largest cities of this country and surely the fastest growing city in India. Now, for your railway ministry, it's not a priority because it's not on your quadrilateral map or your diagonal map. I wished for you to kindly re-examine and put Hyderabad on one of the routes because it's the fastest growing city and needs to be a priority for railways. Sir, lastly, through you, I appeal to the railway minister. For my constancy, I'm appealing to you to put a shuttle train from Melacharu to Hyderabad via Miryal Guda and Nalgonda. Thank you very much, sir.